And that is why I kept on saying it on this altar. Any man or woman that says he has anything that called power or anything that called authority, come and challenge my God and see. I'm not after, oh, the fine building, oh, the fine clothes. You say you have something more than God. Come and prove my God and see whether now you go wrong or God go wrong. So people of God, we need to quickly, as quick as possible, allow the Holy Spirit to lead us. And then we put value, place high value on what we believe. We must not believe on, 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 on feeble ways of men. We must not be carried away by whatever is here and there. We must be people that the Holy Spirit is leading and the Holy Ghost will continue to lead us and all the days of our lives we are operating under the leading of the Holy Ghost. We must be people that are operating under the leading of the Holy Ghost. Not under the leading of flesh. Not under the leadership of carnality. Put in the word first. Turn with me to Proverbs chapter 20. Proverbs chapter 20. Your life today become a living testimony. Amen. I say your life today become a living testimony. Amen. Open your proverb chapter 4. Chapter 4 of proverb. Chapter 4 of proverb. We got to take uh, verse, verse number 20. Amen. I said amen. I said amen. Amen. Put the word of God above all. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. What did he say? He said, My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my saying. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth and the perceived lips. Put far from thee. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody said hallelujah. Amen. When you begin to give the priority to the word of God and begin to place that word above everything in your life, that is when your complete victory begins to come. And that is when you become the true child of God that God has created you to be. That is when the world will know that this is a child of God. This is not just a church goer. This is not the people that everybody will look, ah, that person says a believer. No. Do something for your life today and your lives will never remain the same. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your lives will never remain the same. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your lives will never remain the same. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you that today the Lord opens your ear. I pray for you that today the Lord establishes you. I pray that from today the Lord places you where you're supposed to be. Amen. I pray that today the light of God's glory begin to shine in your heart. Amen. From today, you stop being a hearer of the word only, Amen. but also a doer of the word. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. let the grace, the grace of possibility come upon your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. let the glory, the glory of possibility come upon your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let your life become a living testimony. Amen. The light should shine in your heart. Amen. The glory of God should take over you. Amen. Wherever you connected this morning as a major prophet, I prophesy in your heart that the Holy Spirit takes his dwelling place in your heart. Amen. Let the Holy Spirit take his dwelling place in your heart. Amen. Let the Holy Spirit take his dwelling place in your heart. Amen. To make your heart that abode where he will always instruct you, direct you, lead you, teach you, and comfort you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And henceforth, the word of God must be the number one. Now, one thing you must know is that all this preaching is not being preached for, for, for somebody to like somebody or for somebody to love somebody or for somebody to hear, ah, my man of God can preach. No. All this preaching is for you to make yourself a better person. All this preaching, all this word is for you to get it into your heart, to make use of it. 
and be who that person that God wants you to be. Don't be that person you want to be. Be the person that God wants you to be. Because when you become who God wants you to be, you have fulfilled your destiny. You have fulfilled your career. So, may the Lord continue to shine the light of his words in our heart in Jesus' name.